Thank you for staying tuned to BATV. For the second half of our program, I would like to share an exclusive coverage of the late Mr. Pham Minh Tham, who passed away on February 28th. Mr. Pham Minh Tham was the first South Vietnamese ever to wear the Gold Academy ring from the United States Military Academy at West Point, from which he graduated in 1974. Faithful to the West Point, redo of duty, honor, and country, Mr. Pham Minh Tham returned home to rejoin the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, just in time to experience its final defeat. Then, like hundreds of thousands of others abandoned by the Americans, when they withdrew in April 1975, he disappeared into the re-education camps, scattered in the jungles of Vietnam. West Point military graduate, Vietnamese National Military Tactical Academy officer, prisoner of war, and professor of English, Mr. Pham Minh Tham was a man that encompassed loyalty, knowledge, and compassion for nationalism and camaraderie. Please stay tuned for a farewell to the Honorable Mr. Pham Minh Tham, covered by our network's executive director, Yao Tan Young. My name is Christy Pham. I'm the only child to Tampam, and I would like to welcome you along with thanking you for attending the service. My mom and I deeply appreciate it, and I know he would have as well. I would like to thank his Vietnamese friends for making the ceremony happen today, to have made a fun while also paying for all these things that we could have never afforded. I want to thank his West Point classmates who have assisted the second I told them about the situation. I thank you for helping us to grieve, to making a separate fund, and to guide us make his, his days after cremation wonderful at West Point. I thank everyone who is here today to support us mentally, to advise us as we are making tough decisions. Lastly, I would like to thank you all for being his friends. You guys are real raw and would do anything if your friends is in need. I don't know where he found you guys, but I'm glad he did. Thank you. He supported me then, and I feel like I am supporting him today. Unlike my friend Pat's personal role today, my role today yeah. is to represent West Point. In my uniform, I represent at least somewhat the United States Army, too. But I want to talk primarily about West Point. When we in the class of 1974 entered West Point in 1970 with Tham Tham, the war in Vietnam was still raging, and perhaps all of us thought we would graduate and go to Vietnam ourselves. The world changed, though, and in 1974, Tom was the only one of our class to go back to Vietnam. In 1974, he could surely see that the fall of Saigon was approaching, and probably could have asked for asylum here in the United States. Having been imbued, though, with a sense of duty and honor at both West Point and at Dalat, uh, Tom unhesitatingly, without question, chose to return to Vietnam, his country. His life after that choice was a tough one, of course. But by making that choice, Tom, Tom cemented himself in the annals of history as a great West Pointer someone for whom duty, honor, country were more than words on a, hollow words on a, on a class ring. For Tom's remarkable devotion to doing his duty to his country with honor, I salute him today. And I feel the whole long gray line of us stretching behind me to say, well done, Tom. Be thou at peace. first mission that I ever received in the military was from our superintendent, uh, General William Knowlton, when he came into my room uh, with Tom, my roommate, and told me I had a single mission in addition to graduating myself to do everything I could to help 
as I could come graduate. When uh, Tom jumped off the tower, which was how many feet? 250. 250 feet into the pool with combat gear, and he went down to the bottom, I thought I had failed my mission. Ở trường West Point là một cái điều kiện là mỗi người sinh viên sĩ quan phải nhảy vô hồ bơi mà mang uh, đồ hành trang của quân đội mà phải bơi lên. Ông tưởng lúc đó là ông fail cái mission của ông tại vì chú tâm uh, chưa chắc là bơi bơi lên được. <cười> On graduation day in 1974, I hugged my roommate, my friend, and my classmate, and I didn't see him again for almost 20 years. We had a, a mission in the class of 74 is to do everything we could to bring him back to the United States. And one of the greatest nights is when they arrived in Washington uh, on a plane. It's the first time I met Kim. And uh, it was one of the highlights of my life. Another highlight of my life was when I saw them uh, sworn in as citizens of the United States. And I realized at lunch that uh, Kim knew more about American Constitution, Bill of Rights, than, than I do. Perhaps the darkest day was when Christy called me. I was, I was in California a few weeks ago and told me about the accident. I was just, I guess, uh, uh, honored uh, if that's the right word, uh, to be at Tom's side in the hospital in his, in his last days. The class of 74 has taken one other mission and Colonel Martin spearheading that uh, at the academy. And our goal and our hope is to see that uh, Tom's final resting place is at the West Point Cemetery surrounded by famous generals, soldiers, and others that served. Colonel Martin uh, concluded his remarks as I am with the last stanza of uh, our alma mater. Um, Tom and I had some great experiences. We had a lot of fun together. We had a lot of challenges together. But he loved West Point, uh, as we do. Um, and uh, the final stanza is, is, and when our work is done, may it be said, well done, be thou at peace. But then it concludes with, uh, live, serve, and die, we pray, West Point, for thee. Tom's unique in the sense that uh, he served in, essentially in the military for two countries, our allies. Uh, and uh, if his final resting place is at West Point as we hope, I am confident that his heart will remain in Vietnam. We have our 45th re uh, year reunion this fall, and I hope uh, that uh, all of our classmates, in the class of 74 and their families, can come and honor the life of a remarkable, remarkable graduate. Thank you. Thank you for watching our Vietnamese American television program. I wish you a fulfilling rest of your weekend with your friends, family, and loved ones. I hope to see you again soon in our upcoming VATV programs. Kính mời quý Phật tử và quý đồng hương tham dự lễ hội quán âm lần thứ hai và hội chợ ẩm thực chay sẽ được tổ chức vào cuối tuần 30 và 31 tháng 3 năm 2019 tại Chùa Giác Sơn. Địa chỉ số 11801 Laurel Bowie Road, Laurel, Maryland 20708. Đặc biệt có khách mời Sư Cô Thích Nữ Liên Hoa và Sư Cô Thích Nữ Ngọc Liên, tức Hoa hậu Bích Liên trước kia, cùng các ca sĩ vùng Hoa Thình Đốn. Mọi chi tiết xin liên lạc Chùa Giác Sơn. Email giacsontemple.gmail.com Điện thoại số 240-360-7454